Welcome to Couch Lock, your number one movie podcast. Mike, let's talk about comedy movies. Yeah, well, with the machine on the horizon, I thought it was going to be a good time to talk about this because the comedy mm -hmm. films have been in kind of a rough place lately, I think. Yeah, like if you kind of like look at their track record over the last few years, you can see like a major like downfall mm -hmm. over the last like two years. There really hasn't been very many just like comedy driven movies out. Yeah, a lot of just comedy and big action movies that like it's not the main draw of the movie is not the comedy, which I kind of, you know, like growing up, we had Ace Ventura and The Mask. And I feel like that's part of what is missing is that we don't have actors who are doing extravagant, funny characters like that anymore. It's usually just the actors kind of just acting like themselves, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes plenty of sense. And if they ever do try to break away from that, it's almost like so hyper ballistic is that a word <laughs> <laughs> sure I... it's just so it's just so exaggerated that yeah. it's corny and it usually doesn't feel good to like <laughs> this isn't funny this is try hardy <laughs> try, yeah it's it's really hard to make uh, i don't know it's something about it, it seems like it's hard to make a f comedy film without it feeling try hardy like you said or if they're like pandering mm -hmm. like i feel like a lot of comedy movies come out trying to replicate internet humor which it does not work for many reasons. Uh, one being when something's funny on the internet after the time a movie is pitched, developed, filmed, and released, that amount of time passes to the point where <laughs> people on the internet is like, oh, okay, that's so fucking seven or eight months ago. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? No, shit, shit moves faster than that even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, for sure. I was like, last week, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, and it just feels, like I said, it feels like it's pandering and it doesn't feel original. And that's something that I think the comedy genre is really missing. But also like... Uh just the way that comedy tends to like hit is based off of like cultural conversation. And I feel like the last few years, uh, society has been just really rocky. Um, and I think it's been hard for people to find a way to like find humor and everything that's going on. Yeah, absolutely. And also these big companies are really scared of offending people. And I'm not saying that comedy in order to be funny has to be offensive but i feel like comedy does have to take risks and those aren't risks that are willing to be taken right now unfortunately and i feel like we'll see how the machine handles it i'm i'm you know burt kreischer and tom segura are definitely mm -hmm. two of the biggest comedians right now and i think they're they are both planning on making a movie together as well uh, so maybe we'll have this huge oh. rise of comedians making movies together because I think that would be great. There's a huge, huge com com comedy community as far as like the bigger comedians go, like Two Bears, One, ca one Cave. They have um, they have bad friends and Bill Burr is actually directing a movie right now and Bobby Lee is starring in it. There's a lot of opportunity right now and I think these comedians funding their own movies and writing their own movies and relying on their big fan bases to go and support the movies. I think it's great. And I think it would, it's going to inspire mm -hmm. a lot of original storytelling and comedy right now. Yeah, 100%. I think that like the whole like comedian turned actor can go one of two ways. Like you can either become like an Adam Sandler or you can become like a Larry, the cable guy. And right, we yeah. are going to find out what <laughs> side of the spectrum Bert lands on here. And also kind of like makes you wonder, like we have these big name comedians that like the machine is based off of a stand up, you know, part of his stand up yeah. routine. How much of this was written by him versus how much of, of it was, you know, written by uh, actual screenwriters. Mm -hmm. And with the writers strike going on right now, what kind of impact is that going to have on, uh, st I mean, storytelling in general, but, but also just for the genre of comedy, if it's poor storytelling, it's really bad. Because like right. you'll be in a theater where it's like, this is obviously a joke and nobody is laughing right now. Mm -hmm. And it's so awkward. It's so uncomfortable uh, when a joke just falls flat like that in the movies. It's, it's a bad feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, with the with the writers on strike, like who's gonna be writing the funny shit, you know? Right. 
uh, I guess we'll really, I guess we'll really get to see uh, who who rises who rises to the top here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I, like I said, I think there's a big opportunity here. There's it's a big void and uh, something like I feel like these these comedians have an opportunity to kind of fill that gap in between genres right now because we're really not getting anything of substance. Like I remember when Step Brothers came out and everybody was qu- quoting it all oh, the time dude, yes there's just nothing every like Ferrell that movie. every will fair yeah i mean elf like there's there's nothing like mm-hmm. that anymore no nothing and uh, i think it's just it's just a hard place to be i mean people can go onto their cell phone in between their their you know work breaks and school breaks and get tiktok overload giggles out right. the wazoo i think to sit make somebody sit down for two hours and make them consistently laugh is uh a feat Mm -hmm. um people just haven't found an angle uh, to get people to buy those movie tickets recently yeah and the machine is i think one of the first truly authentic experiences um moviegoers have to see a comedy in the theater uh it, w- post-pandemic at least right within these last few years uh i think this is their first real attempt i think everything else in that comedy genre has either flopped in the theater or gone straight to like a streaming platform mm-hmm. yeah absolutely and personally whether the machine is good or not i want it to do well because i am a fan of comedy i love stand-up and i want better comedy movies yes me too wouldn't it be great if like todd phillips finished up his joker thing and then came back and gave us another comedy that was like on par with the hangover yeah for sure another movie that was totally quotable when it came out everyone was talking Mm -hmm. about it like if you didn't see the hangover you weren't talking about it what were you doing dude you know people were wearing the t-shirt with the baby printed on the (laughs) front of it it was all over the place (laughs) yes like we haven't hit that level of a comedy it, f- for it feels a, for a like hot minute it feels now. like forever for a hot minute now and personally like we've got a lot of heavy dramas coming out we've still got a, a few superhero movies coming out i would love just some really fun comedy stories to break up yeah you know little palate cleanser in between all of that yeah absolutely i agree we need different just different stories different movies we need it always yeah i'll take whatever i can get but in the meantime mark hamill doing drugs uh <laughs> yeah. in the machine <laughs> like <laughs> i'm all about it it's weird hearing him that trailer swear. has funny moments i know right like oh luke what's going on bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so oh, we'll, see, we'll uh we'll just you know we'll see what happens this has been couch lock if you liked please leave a comment and subscribe you can find us everywhere at couch lock pod and thank you for keeping it locked <laughs>